core. On the lead core, the light lead core. Okay, Emily. I designed these rods with a lot of what you had to say built into it. So what do you think of them? I like them a lot. You do, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully that's a nice big bluefish. All right. You've seen Emily on a lot of my other videos. She's a mate on the charter boat that I have. She also is a very good angler. And she and I sort of talk to each other about this light tackle, and that's why I built these rods with a 12-pound test lead core and the spiral wrap. Um, next, you're going to see her sister, Krista. Now, Krista comes along now and then, and, and she sort of likes the, the idea of fishing. And last year, the year before, I built a set of prototype spiral wrap rods, and we had Krista use them. Now, Krista, being somewhat new to this light tackle, is invaluable in the sense that she can give me her opinion on, on its action. Now you're going to find, Krista, that you don't need to, on your left hand, you don't have to grip the rod quite as, as strong, okay? All right? That the rod should sort of balance itself in your hand. That's what, that's what that rod is designed to do. I used monofilament on this prototype, and uh, it, it allows a little bit more stretch. So it's a, uh, action's a little bit different than the lead core I used. Next, you're going to see uh, Krista on some of my light jigging gear. We're jigging up uh, off uh, oh, Great Island and up towards the path. And there's some bluefish and small bass up this way. Well, Krista hooked up. Looked like a decent fish, as you'll notice not having any difficulty with this whatsoever and you'll see the size of the fish that Emily Gaffson gets in the boat. This is the basic reason why I built this lighter gear. That way somebody can enjoy the fight of a fish and a nice big fish too and not get overly tired and worn out doing it. Okay Miss Krista, what did you think of those jigging wires now that you had a chance to to use them. I really liked it and it felt a lot easier than what we were doing before this. I really with a, with it. a heavier gear? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot that's, easier for me. That's what they're supposed to be. So we're going to work around here with a in shallow water for a while. Here we're going to expose Chris to this light action rod with a 12 pound test lead core on it. Again, she has been fishing with me a, a number of years with her family and her father. But she is relatively new to this light tackle stuff, and she doesn't come out all that much. So it's valuable that I get her opinion too, because she'll be like a lot of the clients they take out. And she's very good at explaining to me what I need to do with this new gear. Very good, Krista. Very good. All right, Miss Krista, you've, uh, you're watching Emily, your sister, fight a fish, and you were brought one in with this gear. What do you think of it, really? And I, be, be specific. I liked it, but it felt like when I was reeling, it was really heavy compared to the other things that we were using last time. Okay. Um, yeah, well, what we were using last time was uh, the 12 pound test mono, yeah. and that has a stretch to it. This does not, so you're gonna feel more of the fit. Yeah. Plus, these are bigger fish, mm -hmm. okay? Sure. All right, very good, thank you. And we're gonna get your opinion on some other stuff here too, okay. in a little bit. You're watching Emily here fight another fish on that light action rod with a lead core on it. Emily's opinions are invaluable to me. She's been uh, fishing with me quite a bit and she loves using this light gear. So we've talked about building some new rods for the umbrella rig and using wire to try to do the same thing, to have the rod and the gear absorb a lot of the energy uh, that the fish puts out rather than to, in a sense, tire out the angler so they can enjoy fishing a lot more. <laughs> 